Osteoporosis is defined as a bone disease, characterized by low bone mineral density, which is caused by altered bone microstructure. Osteoporotic fractures lead to a significant decrease in quality of life, increasing morbidity, mortality, and disability. Osteoporosis is affecting millions around the world, especially postmenopausal women and old age people. Talking about etiology of osteoporosis. Primary osteoporosis is related to the aging process, in conjunction with decreasing sex hormones. Other diseases or their treatments cause secondary osteoporosis. Men are much more likely than women to have secondary osteoporosis. Common medications that can lead to secondary osteoporosis include glucocorticoids and antiepileptics. Risk factors for osteoporosis include increasing age, body weight of under 128 pounds, smoking, family history of osteoporosis, early menopause, low levels of physical activity, and certain medical conditions. Osteoporosis is mainly caused by hormonal imbalance, dietary factors, lifestyle choices, and some diseases and medications. One in three females and one in five males over the age of 50 will have an osteoporotic fracture. There are no symptoms in the early stages of osteoporosis. Many times, people will have a fracture before learning they have the disease. Main symptoms of osteoporosis include back pain, loss of height over time, stooped posture, and fractures from minor fall or injuries. Talking about the diagnosis of osteoporosis. Main diagnostic tests involve DEXA scan, FRAX score, and some laboratory tests to rule out secondary causes of osteoporosis. Patients with a diagnosis of osteoporosis should also have a laboratory assessment of their renal and thyroid function, as well as vitamin D and calcium levels. If we talk about some prevention strategies of osteoporosis, recommend lifestyle changes to all patients, weight-bearing physical activity, and exercise that improves balance should be encouraged. Treatment should be offered to help with both smoking and alcohol cessation. Recommend calcium and vitamin D to all patients, and patients who are vitamin D deficient should have a treatment that raises their levels to be normal. Regular BMD tests is also recommended. There are multiple pharmacologic treatments available for osteoporosis. These agents work through either antiresorptive or anabolic mechanisms. Bisphosphonates are used as a first-line therapy for osteoporosis. Other medication classes that are also used for treatment of osteoporosis include selective estrogen receptor modulators, teriparatide, and denosumab. Recommendations for duration depend on the specific type of medication used for treatment. In the end, to conclude our topic, osteoporosis is a preventable and treatable condition. Osteoporotic fractures lead to a significant decrease in quality of life, increasing morbidity, mortality, and disability. If osteoporosis is detected early and treated, the outcomes are good. The risk of osteoporosis can be decreased through using bisphosphonates, exercise, and a diet rich in calcium. So, that's all for today. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for amazing content about pharmacy and medicine. Also you can get this presentation by downloading our MediHelp app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. Thank you.